Hello everyone, welcome back to some more uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Snow Crystal. As you can see, <laughs> my turn count has uh, hurt drastically. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, uh, this chapter, um, I feel like you need to really, like, be in attention. Because I think when you play this chapter in difficult mode, most of these priests aren't promoted. So you go with mm -hmm. the end thinking, oh, they don't have a weapon. But these guys suck, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Like, this chapter sucks because of these, now that they're promoted, they actually fight back. Because, like, you only have to worry about Tomonami killing him. So, what I'm actually... I decided that what I'm going to do with this is I'm basically just going to go with the budget of, like, hit-and-run tactics. Like, mm -hmm. I kill this guy. I need to shove... Okay, so... Let's see. So, I need to, like... You said that his... Whatever he has... On a, whatever he doesn't have equipped is droppable, right? Yes. Okay, so I definitely want that killer bow, then. So, yeah, I know that because I wanted to get the killer bow and I got the killer axe instead. I was really pissed. Okay, so... I kill this warrior, and then, hmm, how do you, I don't think there were this many enemies here blocking this way, actually, in so, the original. So, what you can do is you can push the priest up, and then the priest up, the other priest up, and then put Tomonami to the left or right. And then I push this guy to the left, and then I uh, kill this guy, shove mm -hmm. this guy out, and then I go in and kill Shaver. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, okay. I, I played way too much uh, Pokemon as a kid, so like all those strength oh, rock nice. pushing puzzles. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, doing all those uh, rock puzzles in Pokemon <laughs> is like, yeah, now I know how to all that. Two 6% Chris. Maybe she doesn't need the killer vote. <laughs> <laughs> It points magic and like wow. That's like interesting. I hate those types of levels. <laughs> um, yeah, Michael actually got a really good level up off camera. Oh, nice. And Kieran uh, cap strength and mm -hmm. and Gatry cap strength as well. Oh wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Good for him. Good for him. So shove both these up, Tom Tomonami to the left or right, and push the other one to the into like the corner. Uh, push both the priests up first, and then Tomonami will be able to be pushed to the left or right. Alright, I just have to rescue Ike out of here, actually. Mm -hmm. Thank god for Cavaliers. Yeah, no kidding. Thank god for rescue. Mm -hmm. Can I rescue- okay, I can rescue Boyd with, uh, Kieran. Like, I've reset on this chapter so many times because I really want to get the Ashura stuff. And it's really annoying it's when, when my pain, guys, like- isn't it? Yeah, it actually really is. And uh, I also, um, I was able to make the guys run out their purge. Not this guy, though, so I have to be careful mm -hmm. with him. These guys actually don't move if you're in their range, though, which really annoys Oh, really? Me. Yeah. I, I, I decided, because I resigned myself to not getting the treasure. I got the spirit dust, the stiletto. I, I got the Nosferatu and the spirit dust. Mm hmm. And I don't remember what was. The, I think the other one was either like a restore or something. But I got all the treasure on this side though. Oh, uh, there was a sleep staff. Right, yeah, I got the sleep staff, the s the spirit dust, and the Nosferatu. <laughs> okay, so now I'm pushed Tomonami to the left, and then I push the other guy to the uh, into the corner, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can push either of them into those little. Right, let me just Caves. Uh, there we go and then I uh, then I can sh then I just have to like shove up here I have to be careful of Shaver though because I don't want to kill him with the uh with the bow and then let's see one two three four five six seven eight okay yeah I can get out of this range Okay, yeah, Javelin. Yeah, this guy also ran out of his bolting, so I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh, what? Oh. And that's why Kieran, that's why having Oscar and Kieran be support together is really good. Because he actually would have had boots to hit. Uh, 
Uh, I can try again, I guess, with Makalov. Alright, racing. Let's see, level 8. Hit points, magic speed, luck, res. Oh, wow. Everything he needs. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. If he gets crit, <laughs> he's gonna die. Okay, there we go. Thank God. <laughs> Okay, and now... See, I don't think... Okay, yeah, okay, nice, I can actually help out Astro, but it's sorry. Okay, so now I need to shove... I need to shove, like, this guy, like... Hmm. See, how can I do this? So, I shove... Yeah, I gotta shove, like, all three of these priests, it looks like. Let's see, I shove this guy up. If you just shove the middle guy, then it'll yeah. open up. No, but then, but I would have to, like, go, like, around here to kill Shaver. Yeah. If I shove this guy up, like, here, and then shove this guy to the left, then mm -hmm. it, then I'll have a clear path to Shaver. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I'm not going to get, like, a ton of bonus experience, though. I know that. Actually, I've got this in the bag. Hey, did you hear about the new Pokemon game? Yeah, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It looks pretty good, though. I gotta say, though, when I saw the reveal mm -hmm. trailer, the frame rate looked abysmal, though. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, there was a lot of chucking. Though, to be fair, though, when Pokemon Legends Arceus was revealed for the first time, it also had the same thing. Mm hmm. So I'm sure, but it's coming out this year. I was not expecting that, though. Yeah, me either. I love Legends Arceus. That's all I've been playing recently. Really? Yeah. It's so fun. Just running around and catching Pokemon and stuff. I mean, I actually might get, um, uh, I might actually get Scarlet this year. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't get, I didn't, like, I, like, I told you about, like, my experience with Sword and Shield. Mm hmm But of course, I gotta see more information on the game first. Before right. I can make a definitive decision. I really don't know if I'm gonna get Scarlet and Violet. That's the, it would be the first mainline game that I don't get. Really? You didn't get uh, Sword and Shield? I got I got Sword and Shield. Oh, okay. Wait, but the first mainline... Oh wait, the first... Oh, I get what you mean. First like... mainline game that I won't get. Yeah. Because I've been playing all the generations. I just... I feel like whatever like used to be fun about pokemon to me just kind of like got lost somewhere that's why i love brilliant diamond and shining pearl too so i was just like oh it yeah we just back have to your roots. yeah it's like we have i have the game back you know but um you yeah, know i just i none of the pokemon after gen 5 are memorable to me. Even like half a Gen 5, I only know because it's been around for so long. Yeah, like it's but, like, good that we get new games, but like they're just like, it doesn't the, feel like they're doing anything new. The the new Pokemon don't look like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> the starters, I, they're cute, but the fire starter looks like they just slapped like an apple skin on Totodile. <laughs> I'm serious, like has the same crocodile open mouth like and it's, it's like just... it, and plus it, it feels like it's almost like skylanders like in a way if you if you look at the beta version of Totodile too like it has the same belly and stuff it's just 
Totodile is my favorite starter. So when I saw that, I was just like, oh, this looks... Oh. And then I was like, yeah. That just looks like an apple in the shape of Totodile. I know it's supposed to be a chili. Yeah, and Chub Bunny, like, from Sword and Shield, like, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be a bunny, but, like, it's like, mm -hmm. really? You can't think of anything more, like, I don't know, unique. Mm -hmm. Another firefighting starter, you know? Yeah. Stick with the OG. Blaziken, my second favorite starter. Oh yeah, when in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I always been with Blaziken. Mm -hmm. I I have Omega Ruby and well no, I have Alpha Sapphire, but Oris. Um, and I liked it. I thought that the music kind of lost its. The music, I mean, like, the, it's, it's not memorable it's good. to me. Yeah, it's, it's good, good, but it's not memorable. But it's not Hoenn to me. It's a remix of Hoenn. Whereas, like, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, they stayed so faithful, where it's like, this is just an audio upgrade to these amazing tracks. Mm -hmm. It keeps, like, the strong piano. It keeps, like, all those elements that made those songs so good. Whereas, like, the Hoenn remix, the... The trumpets, the horns, they weren't strong. They were in the background. And I was like, that's what that's what like makes Hoenn music so good. good. Like having these fantastic, like super strong instruments that stick out. Mm -hmm. I mean Hey, robes, if I get so much a scratch, you better get to healing. Yeah, we gotta come this turn. Yeah. Dang it, Ashley, can we get one of those low percent crits when we needed it? Right. Okay, so, but we have Kieran and Oscar on standby. Okay, so, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I can move him back at least. Oof. Oof. Okay, 58. What about Kieran? What if I use him? Okay, that's better. I think I should go in with Oscar first, though. Because Oscar, because uh, Kieran can move around, actually, to the other side. Mm -hmm. Or Kieran, I mean. Uh, okay, he actually hit both. Wow. Surprise. Okay, I might actually be able to... Okay. So Kieran just needs to hit one... 74%. Alright, nice! Good, nice. we get the killer bow. Gahaha, <laughs> should have brought more priests or some babies, dang. <laughs> I love that line. Yeah. Should have brought some babies. <laughs> Alright, killer bow. And that is chapter 22, I believe, cleared in 19 turns. Please ignore the 19 turns. Thank you very much. I never imagined that we were rescued by soldiers of an enemy nation. There was no way we cut down innocent priests being forced to fight against their wills. <laughs> Don't tell. Well, Crystal, you're not like that. <laughs> Father, we bear no ill will towards the kingdom of Dayan itself. We wish only to reclaim the homeland which was unjustly taken from us. That is the reason we fight. We had no desire to invade this land. If nothing else, please believe that. I beg your pardon. May I have the favor of your name? Alencia Riddell Crimea. I am the sole survivor of the Crimean royal family. Oh, you. Let us give thanks that you are alive and well. And please, I beg your understanding as well. There are many Danes who do not support the king's actions. I understand. My young general, this is for you. Huh? As thanks for saving our lives. You get the Asherah staff. Yeah, the s rank staff, and it is literally like the holy man from Fire Emblem 6. <laughs> Now it's time to search this place. My lord Ike, may I join you? Sure, why not? Everyone's lending a... Ike! Ike, where are you? Mist, I'm over here. Ike, this way, quickly. Rayson's in trouble. What? I wonder how the scene would play out if you didn't get Rayson, actually. Rayson, what is it? He's been like this from the moment he set foot in this room. He's just staring at the walls. Oh, okay, yeah. Now I see the writing. Because I thought, I remember that they're being writing on these walls. Yep. It fades in and out. Mm -hmm. It looks really weird. Yeah. 
What is all this? Every wall has the same pattern on it. It's not a pattern, it's an ancient language. All chants and spells and magic spells are written thusly. Can you read it, Soren? Some, but not all. Spells are simple, whereas this is a complex narrative. I think Prince Raisin could read it. I bet this is the same language that Leanne was speaking. It is. It's the Serenus language. Their chants are all in this language, too. So Raisin is reading what's written on the walls? It appears that way. Shall we leave him be? There's a lot of writing here. This could take hours. I think that's a good idea. Ike. What is it? From what I could gather, I think a person was locked in this room some time in the past. You don't know who it was, do you? I wasn't able to read enough of the writing, but I found this under the bed. Is this... I think it may have belonged to whoever was in prison in this room. I apologize. I took up much of your time. Hold up. I apologize. I took up much of your time. I was drinking some water. Raisin, you don't look so good. Why don't you rest for a bit? No, I'm fine. It's more important that we talk. About the owner of this feather? Was that in that room? Soren found it. Who was it? L Lilia, my older sister. The writing on the walls is hers. You have an older sister, too? Ad, will you tell us about it? She was kidnapped 20 years ago on the night of the Serenus Massacre. I I thought that Lilia had been murdered along with my other brothers and sisters. I believed that until today. Who took her? The walls say only that she, he was a large human. She probably never knew who it was. He thrust a clan treasure at her and demanded that she use her magic to revive the things sealed inside it. He extorted her again and again, but to no avail. Lilia refused his request every time, because she did not possess that power. Someone wanted to revive the Dark God. Shortly after she was brought here, Lilia fell ill and collapsed. I'm not surprised. It was a terrible time. She was imprisoned in that tiny room with no view of earth or sky. Oh, that's all- Missed. I'm sorry. I just feel so sad for Lilia and for Rayson, too. I beg your pardon. Let me continue. A young Baeor bear began to come into the room to care for Lilia. She had bluish hair and blue eyes, and her heart was unusually pure for a bear. In time, Lilia and she came to be friends and shared a mutual trust. Ah. Uh. Lilia decided to entrust her hopes to the woman. They shared no common language, so it took some time. But eventually, the Bayork woman understood what it was Lilia wanted, which was to take the treasure and the song and flee this temple. Well, brother. Was there anything else written about this Bayork woman? A name, perhaps? Translating into our language, it was probably El Elena. I knew it. Mother. It was our mother. What? Are... are you sure? Our mother's name was Elena. Like me, she, her hair was blue, as were her eyes. Raisin, the object you referred to as your clan treasure was an aged bronze medallion, wasn't it? How... how did you know that? The medallion became my mother's keepsake, the song too. My parents both gave their lives to protect it. Ike, you and Miss are Elena's children? Then Lero's medallion is here? Um... The medallion was sewn, probably by Dan. It can't. This is unbelievable. Can a thing like this be chance? To be honest, I don't fully understand all that's happened, but it all makes sense. It all comes together. Ah. <laughs> Wait, can I hit A? No, I can't. Miss. That's the song that... But the melody's a little different, isn't it? It's similar to the song Raisin and Leanne sang in the forest. My mother used to sing it as a lullaby. It's the song of release, the one Lily entrusted to Elena. But I wore the medallion and sang that song almost every single night, and nothing ever happened. The magical effect of the song is awakened by the power of the singer. It can't be unleashed by just anyone. A song of release can only be sung by a girl named Altena. Le Lilia wanted your mother to take the me melody to Altena and return the medallion to its rightful place in Serenus Forest. Wait, what? Altena was alive during that time? Um... I thought that she was like... Well, yeah, because, um... Wait, no. Because Misaha was the... one that was assassinated. Yeah, this doesn't make... Yeah, I feel like... It could be a translation error. Yeah, I think so, because... Because there's, there's a couple in this game. Mm -hmm. Like, in the Japanese version, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. 
The story is becoming clearer and clearer. My father fled Dane to protect my mother, who was carrying the amulet. Ike, how did you know? Volk told me. He told me about my father's past and the amulet, and the Dark God, too. So you know everything. King Ashnar took Lilia, didn't he? That would be the final piece of the puzzle. After all, the man who found my father was the king's henchman. Ike, are you saying you know who killed Commander Grail? You never said anything about that. We all thought his murderer was unknown. Why didn't you say anything? I don't know. I never felt like talking about it. He was a Dayan soldier, wasn't he? Who was it? Who was the man who killed Commander Grail? Ike, tell me. Can we discuss this later? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Up to this point, we've all been fighting for the liberation of Crimea. Even if we now add to that stopping the Dark God from being released and punishing Commander Grail's killer, our enemy remains unchanged. King Dan and his henchmen are the ones we must defeat. It's mysterious, isn't it? I mean, Rayson said the same thing earlier, but could it, all of this really be mere coincidence? The fall of Crimea, Ike's parents, the death of Rayson's sister, the fact that everything leads back to Dayan. If true, it changes the meaning behind this war. The treatment of Lilia is one thing, but the assassination of the former apostle, the framing and destruction of my nation? If it was all part of Dayan's plan to steal the medallion and the song, then I... I... the reason I fight. Okay, and now we are up to chapter 23. Oh god, Crystal, we're getting closer and closer. I know. <laughs> if that's the decision you've reached, we'll respectfully comply. If we can march quickly and know that someone's protecting our backs, it would be a huge relief. As you wish, may the fortunes of war be with the Crimean army. If you have need of soldiers, send word. We'll move out at top speed. I'll be counting on it. The information gathered at Palmini Temple leads Ike even closer to the tr hidden truths behind the war. The assassination of Begnan's former apostle led to the massacre of the Serenus. A Serenus princess was kidnapped, the medallion is stolen. A complex skein seemed to connect these events, and now those threads have become clearer and cleaner. Ashnar's motives are still a mystery, but his salute lurks in the shadows of all that happens. Ike returns from the temple and renounces all rights to the rule of Dayan. Those rights are then passed through General Zagus of Bagnon to the Apostle herself. The Crimean army absorbs another troop from Bagnon and with its might increase marches on the Dayan slash Crimean border. Its next goal is the Riven Bridge, a massive structure that connects the two countries. Oh yeah, the bridge map, I almost forgot about that. It's the one that killed oh, Soren and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> How could I forget a map like that? Oh boy. Chapter 23, The Great Bridge of Death. <laughs> to be fair though, the bridge in this game isn't as bullshit as it is in the next. Yeah. My lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course, what is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for many years. Crimea is the land where I was born and raised. To feel so removed from it. I feel now, at this late juncture, that I know almost nothing of my own country. It is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I don't have the sense that we're back on the that we're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. Maybe it's because I was born in Guy and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it. In all of all of it. So, am, <laughs> so am I. For one who knew nothing of life outside the royal villa, everything is so very big. Big. Hmm. Yes, I, yeah, I guess you're right. When we left Crimea, it was spring. The stones were melting, and the days were getting longer, and the wind was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. Weather, my bad. Only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed us by. Yet this is the land where I was born and raised. Uh, my dear sweet Crimea, how is it that you feel so far away? For me too. Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there. Let's go home. It is as you say, my lord Ike. Let's go home. Oh, what a romantic setting. Make it hard to make an appearance. I guess I could just leave you two. Huh? I know that voice. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Ranulf! My lord Ranulf, how nice to see you again. My princess Valencia, welcome home. I'd, cur I'd courtesy, but the tale makes it look silly. What are you so darn chippered about? 
I once, once I heard the news that the Crimean army had taken the day in capital, I ran all this way to greet you. I'll go things in Gallia. You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dan, are you? Not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Gallia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Really? So is the Gallian army going to... We're going to establish communications with them and create a united front. That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. That posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked that you would understand such sub... Chris, how do you say that? Subtleties. Su subtleties, okay. Who are you and what have you done with Ike? I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. Kind of kidding. Actually, Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we received reinforcements from Bagnon. Of course, you were tutored by your nervous little staff officer. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems high strung. King Canigus is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can I ever repay him? Princess, let's bring your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, of course. Ike, I'd like to report the results mm. of the last bout. Oh god. I'm gonna say Kieran, because from what I saw, I had to, <laughs> we had to replay the first half. Uh -huh. so I, am... I only saw the end. I am going to say Oscar. Oh no, it was Boyd. Boyd. Okay. Huh. Oh, nice. We actually got a good amount of bonus experience too. Oh yeah, wow. Well, it's because oh. of all the priests. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Combat experience, not all right. And we have a good amount of money too. Mm -hmm. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities here. Everyone pursued exceedingly well. well. That is all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. All right. I mean, it is a short episode, so we can do the preparations on screen, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, so let us see. We have some bonus experience, I guess. Hmm. I mean, this is enlightened. Hmm. There are some advantages and disadvantages to not being like how you get bonus experience and like um, reading and dumb. Because if it was, I would could just like, I could easily like give, like Oscar and Kieran like levels, and they would easily cap some mm -hmm. stats. Is he Kieran one point? Yeah, he's one point away from having speed actually. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And. Hmm. I really don't know who I should give experience to. Uh, as far as supports go, Ike. Uh, huh. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, we actually mm -hmm. got the. Oh, finally. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Soren. I've been thinking a lot about what you said the other day, and there's something I still don't understand. You survived. You're strong. Why would you feel insecure about who you are? Tell me. Tell me everything. Curse you, why can't you leave me be? I don't have any friends, like, I don't have anyone else. If I tell you and you turn on me, I, I, I don't think I can survive it. That's why you have to tell me, Soren. You'll never tell anyone else. And if you don't tell anyone, you're just going to keep suffering. Look at you, you're a mess. Come on, talk to me. I, I, I... Soren, it's me, trust me. I don't give two figs who your parents are. I'll stand by you. I, I... No, I won't. I... Ah, uh, I... I'm... Branded. I'm one of the branded. A branded? What's that? It's a cross between a sor a, between a bear and a lagoon. Such taboo union violates every teaching of the gods and of society. We are untouchables, abominations, condemned to a life of hatred and shunning from both races. Wait, wait, hold it a second. Let me make sure that I follow you. You're part lagoos? Yeah. This mark on my forehead is the proof. I learned about it while researching ancient books at the main hall cathedral. I always thought it was a birthmark. Others th thought it was this mark of a spirit charmer. What's a spirit charmer? Magic comes from interactions with spirits. If you let one into your body, it will give you tremendous power, for a price. That's why the Osage was so interested in me. He thought I had struck such a deal, but instead, I was just a filthy branded. Alright, I understand. So? What do you mean, so? So you have the goose blood in your veins, so you have a mark to prove it. So, what's the problem? What's the problem? Don't you find me repute? Repugnant? I work beside you, eat beside you. I'm nothing. I don't belong anywhere. Doesn't that sicken you? No, it doesn't change anything. You're still you, Soren. You're a capable officer of our army and my friend. We can't keep going unless you are with us. I, I thought, I thought you, what? It was Gallia. The sage lived in Gallia. A few boyarchs had settled there. And Gallia, are you saying when the sage died, no one would help me? I couldn't speak. Couldn't find food. I was dying. You were the only one who helped me, you and your father. 
That's why you're my friend. My only friend. That's nice. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. I, gotta I always thought that was pretty heartwarming. I gotta say though, the dialogue in this game with support conversations feels like it's so much better than than um, uh, Fates and Awakening. Mm -hmm. Awakening has oh some God, good yeah. has some good supports, but they're hard to find. And Fates, yeah, that's all I gotta yeah. say. <laughs> so, hmm, I still, I think. I should get the supports between Ike and Oscar, because I don't see him, I don't see Tanth being, like, around in the army for much longer. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, we're basically just sitting on dead weight here in terms of supports. Because, like, who do we have left? We have Alencia, Leth, and Ronolf, and Ronolf I'm not using. Alencia, I don't remember what her affinity is. Actually, I can just look this up right now. Let's see, Alencia's affinity is... Supports. Nope, that's not it. That's support bonuses. Let's see. Her affinity is heaven. Mm. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna get the B support. The supports with Oscar. <coughs> yeah, Oscar, can you spar with me a second? Wait, where are you going? Sorry, I have no time. I have to prepare the evening meal today. You? Where's Miss? She's all practicing with her staff. It's been a while since I cooked. I hope I haven't touched. I haven't lost my touch. I haven't had one of your suppers in ages. I'm looking forward to it. Really? Yeah, of course. You're a great cook. Why do you ask? Well, I never knew that. Miss Shinnon and Risk were the only ones who ever commented on the subtle spices and flavors that I use. I mean, my brothers are used to my cooking, and Soren hates everything. I think he'd stop eating if he could. Sure, Commander Grail, Titania, Gatry, and you ate everything on the plate, but I feel like you'd eat anything. Oscar, I didn't just shovel the food into my mouth. I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Remember the first day that Mix Miss took over your cooking duties? Just thinking about it makes me ill. Huh, even my father was having trouble getting it down, but I think Miss is finally starting to get the hang of it. Just like you're trained to improve your swordsmanship, Miss is trained to improve her culinary skills. You should give her more support. Hearing someone say delicious is the best encouragement a cook can get. I see. I'll make sure to say delicious from now on. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, I That's can't... true. Like, Practice... cooking a meal for someone, if they say it's good, like it's like the best feeling. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> practice does make perfect. And, let's see, I still have Smite. I honestly don't know who to give that to. I mean, let's see, who else are we getting? There's not a lot of units left. I mean, maybe Toronio for Clash. When we, maybe, I have to see how many units left I have for that. So, what do the shops actually sell? That I am interested in. No, wait, not that. I'm at the Armory. Uh, oh, no, I got it. They finally sell silver weapons. Yeah, I was I was gonna say I'm pretty sure the silver weapon should start to make an entrance. All right, and the spirit dust. Let's see who can get that. Riss has 27 magic. Soren has 27. What is this magic cap actually for priests? I need to look this up. 30, I think. 30, just like sages. Yeah. Uh, let me just. Pretty sure. Let me see. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see. Uh, pre... No, wait, what? These are... No, these are growth rates. I don't need the growth rates. Have some stats. It is... Uh... Oh, it's 29. Oh, 29. So he would... If I gave it the risk, he would actually just cap his magic, actually. Uh, hmm. I think, you know, I'm gonna give the sword actually. Just in case, because he's got... Riz has more time to grow, actually. And plus, Bastion, I don't know if I'm gonna use him one turn. Are you gonna use Khalil? Khalil? Um, I could give it to her, actually. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, like, I do think I'm going to actually have to ask the student deployment slots, actually, this chapter. So, yeah, I actually could give it to her, and she does still have bolting. Mm -hmm. I think I should buy a, um, uh, a silver shirt for Ike, actually, though. Oh, wait, I, I have a silver plate? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll just give him that instead. And I think I'll actually get. Let me. Do I, where are all my vulnerabilities? I think I ran out actually. Let me just see, just buy a few. Let me see. I know we're good on hand. Is there anyone hoarding them all? Uh, no. Everyone. Because I like. No, Riz is hoarding pure waters. <laughs> uh. Let me see, do we have, wait, where, how are we going on hand axes? I just want to make sure. I'm pretty sure we're good on hand axes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. We're, 
Okay, we're good. <laughs> Javelins, I am gonna buy a few though. Yes, I know it's bad, but still, we're we're coming up. We're not gonna go anywhere in the shop though. So I'm gonna buy four. Okay. Okay, eleven. <laughs> oh god, we only have one use of the hand axe. I'm actually gonna get rid of that and the javelin. Give him a fresh javelin and hand axe. Astrid. Uh, oh yeah, we gave we got that killer bill last chapter, so mm -hmm. we can actually give that to her. Oh, we had a killer ball. Eh, whatever. I'm surprised we're not selling silver um, bows, though. I think this might come in like another chapter or two, though. Yeah, it takes a minute. Okay, and let's see. I think we're good. Yeah, we're done with supports for now. I'm surprised we didn't get the Oscar uh, Ike B. I hope we get that in time. Oh, Soren, three star. Okay. Hmm. Soren, are you in here? I'm pretty sure this is Ike. Yes. I think so. Yeah. Ike, it's late. What do you want? Shh. Um, Ike. Oh, God, I know, oh, wait, I know what this is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How strange. I was sure he'd come this way. You who? That voice. It's the woman from the item shop, isn't it? Commander, Ike, where have you gone, handsome? Crud. <laughs> Did you run in here to escape? Look, whenever that woman cores me, it takes forever to get away. Let me hide in here until things simmer down. We begin marching tomorrow morning. This is a waste of valuable time. I'll go and chase her away. Wait, Zorin! Ike, Ikey Poo, where are you? Amy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ew. I mean, um, hi. Why are you out so late? Do you have some business with Ike? Well, yes, I do. I found a special something that I'd like to give to him. Do you know where he is? Ike is in a war meeting. If you have something for him, I can hold on to it for you. Hmm. What should I do? You see, I have this new staff. This staff is very valuable. I'm not sure if I feel comfortable simply handing it over to someone who doesn't understand that. That's a Hummer, is it not? A rare staff that can take any item, no matter how battered and worn, and repair it completely. Why, that's right. You're quite knowledgeable, aren't you? If I may continue, I believe that there is only one of these in all the world. It truly is priceless. Well, you get another one in the next game, so it's not really <laughs> all the world. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to give this to Ike... Well, I do want to be helpful. If you truly wish to capture Ike's attention, bringing him staves and whatnot will not av will avail you nothing. What? Really? Oh dear, I was so hoping he would like it. Food, however, would be much more effective than a staff. He's particularly fond of spicy meat dishes. Is that so? Cooking is not something that I'm skilled at, but... Oh, I've got it. I know the perfect dish. Ah, good. He would be very pleased. Um, what about the staff? You can keep it as payment for the cooking tip. Take good care of it. Well, she's unexpectedly generous. I received something quite nice from your admirer, Aiki Poo. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> nice, you got Hamurn. And, oh wow, Hamurn's C rank? Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, that means Soren can actually build it. Uh, oh man, do I really want to get rid of heal? Uh, we still he needs a new heal anyway. Yeah. What's with the staff rank, actually? Um, oh, is that Oh, he can mm -hmm. wield. The yeah, he can use the Ashura staff. Damn. Uh, I don't. Mm, I really hope there's not any. I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be status saves on this chapter. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy Sword and New Heal stuff. And as for our excess heal stuffs, like this one. Mm -hmm. let's see, this one. I'm not even using Mend anymore. Damn. Yeah, I used to just throw my, like, old staves on Mist, but then I was like, I'm not using her, so... I know we're, we're gonna use the Hummer instead of this chapter, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so... I guess I can take a... Mm, I guess we don't need Ward. I wish I had more staff users. Let's see, where is it? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Mm -hmm. We got we got to repair it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. <laughs> I very, love that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be very useful. That was Joffrey's lens. Yeah, we're gonna repair it for him, and Joffrey is gonna get amazing. Yeah. That, why do you think I've saved it since like I think um <laughs> since chapter ten? Oh my god, did you really save it for him? Yeah. Why do you think I haven't? Why you really think I want to? You know, I'm running another one. I need that lance. <laughs> That's true. It's it's expensive. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so I think I'm actually going to give both... I'm going to give, actually, Makalov a level, and I think I'm going to give Oscar and Kieran one. Makalov, please get a good level up. Hit points, strength, speed. Nice! Hey, wow. Actually, wait, before I continue, let me give, let me give them the Night Ward, actually. This Because this, this should guarantee that um, mm -hmm. Kieran caps speed. Come on. Hit points, magic skill speed. Hey. Yep, that's cap speed. Nice. I got cap strength and speed on this man. And now Oscar can equip it, and let's see what he can get. He should get speed. Uh, he could cap strength. Wait, isn't 26? Yeah, he could cap strength, yeah. actually. Come on, Oscar. Come on. Strength speed res? Yes! Nice. So nice. We have. Oh my god. Damn, your Oscar cap strength. Ugh. I that wish. is the. F this is a first for me, actually. God damn. I've never <laughs> had Oscar cap strength. Me either. Alright, and now we can give it back to. Um, uh, we can give it back to Gatry. Wait, don't we fight Feral ones on this chapter? We might. Uh, well, I usually just throw that on Ike. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, you know, I think I can give it to Ike. I mean, he doesn't have any other, like... And it doesn't hurt to have it equipped. Mm -hmm. Or just, like, in the army. Yeah. Alright, uh, I think that's it. How far are we in the episode? I think we can do the intro and then end it. Yeah, we can. Alright, let us go! So they're finally here, are they? Has the work on the bridge been finished? And your answer had better be yes. Please say no. Yes, General, do you think it will work? <laughs> Sometimes the simplest of traps offer up the best results. Lure the enemy in, and then finish them off one by one. Got it? Listen up, dogs. There will be no retreating today. We stop Crimea's advance here. We will not allow them to gain the comfort of their homeland. Any who do not fight to the death will face my lance. Oh, God. <laughs> This is a bridge. Wow, it's huge. I doubt if da I doubt if Dan's going to let us cross over without objection. Yeah, I think that's highly unlikely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, can we cross? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> that thing, assign the march. Make sure the troops stay alert and move with caution. Understood, Commander. Say, Ike, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? I haven't seen the Zero around. What's happened to him? He was declared an enemy combatant locked up. What? Hey, I understand you're being irked that he didn't mention testing you and all, but treating him like a criminal is too... Testing me? What are you talking about? Huh, oh, um, nice weather, eh? We're going to talk, now. <laughs> is yours a damn spy? No, wait, that's not possible. He was our spy. You're telling me that he was a Galleon spy? None of this makes sense to me. He worked for us on behalf of the king, but Dan? As a Lacuse, he would have absolutely no reason to work for them. But there was a Goldoan named Anna who was working as a general for Dan. Are you serious? Yes, we, we were forced to fire her in the Dan capital. We have attempted to capture her, and Nazir intervened and allowed her to escape. He betrayed us. What? Hold on a minute. Maybe that was... If that's the case, then I can see why. No, even so, teaming up with Dan is just too much. Hmm. I hate to interrupt what is it, whatever it is you're doing, but we arrived at the bridge. Let me speak to Nazir, please. Once we finish this battle, we can go together, alright? Of course. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> And I see feral ones. All right, Har. Time for you to go to work. <sighs> no, Mom. Five more minutes. <sighs> Dozing off on the battlefield. You've got a lot of nerve, don't you? Hey, wake up or I'll burn you to a crisp. Uh, huh? What? Uh, right. Has the enemy arrived? Yes, they just got here. Now get out there and do your job. Oh, I'm all over it. <sighs> what an absolute fool. I love Patrine. Yeah. <laughs> I might build her in Heroes. Oh, really? Yeah, I need a Grail project. I have like 1400 sitting around. Because I just, I finished my Ina, so. Well, here we are, and there's the Dan army on the other side as expected. They're already in battle formation and waiting to give us a warm welcome. Oh, that's charming. That's just what I want. Oh ho, well said. And by the way, I thought I'd join you today. Not as a guy, but as part of our army, right? If it's a problem, I can always sit this one out. You will. Of course <laughs> not. Thanks for your continued support, Ranulf. 
Ha! The pleasure is all mine. Let's go carve us some, carve us some Danes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we might as well talk about them. Mm -hmm. uh, first up, let's see. Uh, I get... Are Tana's reinforcements actually good on this map? They're, they're usually helpful on big maps like this. Mm. I don't want to lose Tana's too early, though. So I get... I mm -hmm. think I'm going to bring Stefan, actually. We need to bring Jill the Recruit hard, though. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about Ronald. So, yeah, Ronald. Um, I, let me give him the Demi Band, actually, so we yeah, can we see. Don't need, uh, we don't need Volk. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. So we can mm -hmm. still bring her. But then there's Khalil, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. I would rather bring Khalil. Are there any stealables on this map, though? Let me check. I don't see, think so. The, oh, Physic. Physic. Tornado? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And physics stats. Well, let's see. Wow, Ben and X. <laughs> wait, what? Are they? Wow. Oh, wait. That's that's our squad. That's why. That's weird. I thought they were usually um wyvern lords that came with him in difficult mode. I don't know. All right, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, they, <laughs> heavy spear. They might be. Uh, oh god. Because when they fight, <laughs> they don't want you to give you any help. Oh wait, maybe be, when his spot his squad reappears, they're actually promoted. Mm -hmm. Cause like Maybe. I, cause when the squad starts, um, they are unpromoted though. Droppable heavy spear, sealable weapons, man. Oh, blizzard. Oh god, siege stone. Great. Oh, longbow. Well, that's we can't use that. Killer. Oh, another killer bow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, you give us a lot of good stuff here, actually. <laughs> Antitoxin. Silver Axe? Oh my god, Silver mm -hmm. Axe, Jesus. And Hard with the Brave Axe, and Petrine with the Drop of Flame Lance. This, I'm um, actually... Do I, do I have any good units with good magic? Let's see. Uh, 10? 7? Yeah, okay, I got some good Lance users with uh, good some good magic, actually. Alright, um, yeah, I guess we don't need to bring Volk. I mean, there's no sealable... If there was, like, like um, stat boosters, I obviously would bring... I think mm -hmm. I'm going to bring Kalil, though. And let me give Ronolf uh, the demi mask. We actually see his stats, even though they will get some minuses. Let's see, here we go. There we go. So yeah, here's Ronolf. Um, Ronolf's base stats when he uh, is transformed into a cat is really good, but the problem is that he's a cat, so his gauge runs out quickly. He doesn't do the most damage. He, is, but 20 speed though, I have to say though, is pretty low for my liking because mm -hmm. the enemies here are like they, he's not gonna double anything. And cats are meant to double stuff. They're basically meant to be myrmidons. And if he can't double stuff, like what's he gonna do basically? Um, his strength is good, so he will be able to pack a punch though, even with the demi demi band. But it's just that his gauge runs out quickly. He's locked to one range. I think I'm just gonna give him two stars because. Ronald, mm -hmm. I just don't see him being that useful. Mm -hmm. Um, Ronald's pretty okay, you know. Like that—that's it. He's just—he's just okay, you know. I don't usually like raise him or anything. It's—he's just here. He joins with decent stats. If you want to use them, then cool. If you don't want to use them, then cool. You know, like it's—he's just—he's there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, in my experience, he's better than Leaf. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, I'll give him a three. He's been useful to me before. All right. Yeah. All if right. I need super like long range stuff, he's got pretty good uh, move as a cat. Okay. And oh wait, I need to re-equip my guys actually because I unequipped them when that part oh, with them yeah. uh, with a sh with a shape or last chapter. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, this map. Uh, the pitfalls are here. They're not as bad as they were in um, uh, in Radiant Dawn because they just stop your movement. So you can counterattack mm -hmm. them, but it's still you still want to be careful. And there's a lot of them. I think there's 11 on this map, if I remember correctly. Oh, my God. Yeah. I think this... I, I don't know why, but I feel like the bridge was longer in um, uh, Radiant Dawn. I think it's because there's not because there were more sandbags, actually. I think, yeah, there were more sandbags, and a lot of the spaces only had, like, one space between them. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna have Jill in the back because she's going mm -hmm. to be, she's gonna be, she's gonna recruit Har, and Har usually reappears from back here. You are gonna get, like, some silent reinforcements and regular reinforcements coming from the back, which I never, which, they're sword masters, which I never understood why. 
Like, why are there, like, shouldn't we have, like, scouts, like, why are there enemies coming from the back of our side? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, Har, I can understand, because, mm -hmm. you know, he flew to ambush us, but I never understood why there's, like, regular reinforcements, like, they appear from, like, right here. <laughs> it never made sense to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode. Join us next time when we will be taking on the bridge, and hopefully we don't get that many pitfalls. See you soon. Bye.